Hi, I'm Dak Alley. You're watching It Goes a Little Something Like This, the greatest songwriters of our time. Here's a little of our interview with Keith Stegall and a song that he co-wrote called I Hate Everything. <laughs> what a title. Here's Keith Stegall. The camera rolls on. Well, yeah, the, uh, this is whether you know the story or not. The camera uh, rolls oh, we won't show it. Uh, because it's... It can portray me as being. Stay you tuned can, for this, folks. <laughs> and you can bleep this an asshole. But uh, because I have been in the business so long and, and heard so many songs and heard so many records, uh, I had those uh, moments where I become jaded a little bit. And uh, I remember coming home late one night and I was channel surfing on our three radio stations uh, that we have here in Nashville, just surfing between. Uh, you know, 10 or 15 seconds of, of each song and just rotating through it and driving home and I pulled up in my driveway and I was still channel surfing and as I turned the key off to the car I went I told myself, I said, there's something seriously wrong with you because you hate everything and uh, I sat there for a moment in the dark and I went oh my gosh, that's a song title uh, I hate everything. So anyway, I came upstairs and came to the front door and put my backpack down, walked into the bedroom where my wife was asleep and only the TV on. Didn't turn the light on, but there was an envelope uh, from a bill that was sitting on the, on the dresser. And I took that, took that envelope down and began writing, uh, I hate everything. And I'd gotten down to the point where I didn't know how to turn it into a positive song. It was so negative. So uh, I remember when I went into my studio the next day, Gary Harrison, who, who's also a great songwriter in his own right, was there. And I, and I told Gary, I said, I've got something here going that I think is really a big song, but uh, I, I, need to, I need to put a twist on it and make it positive. So I gave, I gave the song to Gary. And what I had... So far, you know, by the end of the day, Gary called me back uh, to his office and said, "I think I've, I think I've turned it in. I think I made it positive." <laughs> and uh, and so I looked at the lyric and and realized that, that he had. So anyway, from there, I played it one night uh, uh, at a guitar. Well, it wasn't even a guitar pull. It was a bunch of us hanging out in a bar, and somebody had a guitar, and I played it for George Strait's manager, Irv Woolsey. And Irv said, uh, "I can distinctly remember going." Uh, buddy, I want to hold. I want to hold on that right now. I went. I haven't even demoed it, Irv, because I want to hold on it. So I put it on hold. George Strait cut it and, and made it a number one record. You've been watching a Ladak Productions presentation.